Hey guys, cool. Ugh. Have we done the color card? I have not. The mess up was intentional for the color card. <laughs> hey guys, cool. I'm back. I'm Rick. Eric. We're back with Faulty Towers, where um, a lot of times the pilot is the worst episode. Yeah. And I had a lot of fun with the last episode. I so. love the pilot. Yeah, that was so accessible <laughs> as someone that has never seen anything like it before. Yeah. I am worried for my health. Because I understand. I'm going to laugh too much. Yeah. You know, this is a, a, a good day for us because, as a lot of people know, we are catching up with a, a break in our schedule right now. So yes. we get to watch a bunch of these at once. And people at patreon.com slash blindwave also got to watch this episode last week. That's whenever true. Whenever it happened. Including a couple more into the future, too. So consider checking us out at patreon.com slash blindwave. And maybe you can also have the day we're having, which is... A bunch of faulty towers, and I am now realizing that makes for a very great day. I think it does. Well, let's get started. Let's go! Oh, they changed the sign. It's the first weekend we've had off since Audrey had her hysterectomy. Don't worry. <laughs> the weekend off. Good morning, Major. Very well, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, Manuel. Oh, I'm well, well, oh. well, 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 I will get your bill. <laughs> I will get your bill, see? We got it. Today we have beef, veal, or sausages. <laughs> shut up. Eh? Shut up. Oh, see, see, shut up. Yes, I understand. Yes. Oh, will you please shut up? See, see, I shut up. Now, while we're away. Shut up. Shut up! Eh? No, you know, away. Away! Oh, see, see. No, no, not away. Oh, see, see. Clean, clean the windows. <laughs> oh, my God! Clean the windows. Come see, 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 Jacket looks like they cut one in half and stitched it together. It does. She's holding his hand at her face. Old soup tins, broken down car, dustbins, mattresses, hoovers, and a nice smart collar and tie under it. I mean, what's it supposed to be? It's not important. Can I have it back? What is it? I'm so curious. It's Mr. O'Reilly, Basil. O'Reilly, the, the wall. The wall. Now listen, if there's any problems, tell your men to get Polly to call me, you understand? So, uh, next week's a definite, then, is it? Hmm. Oh, good. Well, that'll be nice, won't it? I mean, we waited for that wall about as long as Hadrian. <laughs> and you're going to wear that jacket, are you? Yes, <laughs> yes. You just haven't a clue, have you? You wouldn't understand, dear. It's called style. <laughs> <laughs> now, have I got everything? Handbag, knuckle dusters, flick knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's Mr. Faulty. Shh. Windows, <laughs> Papa Boy. He understands that. <laughs> what is this, garbage? <laughs> he made a junkyard. Manuel! <laughs> Manuel Towers, how are you? It's nice today. Good. It's nice today. Goodbye. Oh, my grandma had one of those. My grandma had one of those, yeah. too. Wow, that just took me back. Good noon. Is this number 16? No, no, this lobby, 16 upstairs. 16 Elwood Avenue. Where's the real boss? Okay. The, the, the Generalissimo. Major. In Madrid? <laughs> I'm, <not sure. laughs> I'm just leaving him, right? You want room 16 for him? <laughs> oh, Manuel. Manuel Towers, you can do it, buddy. Get out here, very, very sorry. Uh, goodbye, goodbye. The men. <clears throat> Go wake her up. Ah. Hello, men. Good day now. Hello, men. men. I go, you wait. Uh, 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 you wait too, please. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to be such a, a good worker. <laughs> you must wake. Did he hear the phone ring? No, he just didn't want to wake her up. He not here. How many times? Where are your ears, you great big half-wit? <laughs> he not here. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was so good. You are a hideous orangutan. <laughs> what happened? He wanted to get him punched. <laughs> Poor Manuel. Why didn't you wake her up? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's a door at the bottom of the steps now. Mm. They did such a good job, too. They did. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> you hired a rider? Oh, I see it's my fault, is it? Oh, of course, there I was thinking it was your fault because you were left in charge. Or Manuel's fault for not waking you, and all the time it was my fault. <laughs> You're a <laughs> Oh, my God. Completely broke down. Now no puncher. Again. Again. <laughs> I call it right. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. She can't get in the dining room. I've never seen a man break down like that. Good morning. One moment, please. I shall breakfast. Let's see you then. Where is Dawn? I'm sitting enough to leave the hotel for a few minutes. For a few minutes! <laughs> if you're not over here in 20 minutes with my door, I should come over there and insert a large garden gnome in your window. In you. <laughs> what an insult. <laughs> a threat. Oh. Yeah, a threat. What a threat. Oh my god. <clears throat> The good Lord made the world so that we could all enjoy ourselves. Look, my wife enjoys herself. I worry. <laughs> <laughs> she will be back here in four hours and she can kill a man at ten paces. <laughs> if, off her <laughs> if the good Lord is mentioned once more, I shall move you closer to him. Now, please. <laughs> well, she's here. She's here. She's here. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Can he pull this up? Why? Oh, right. Because his van's outside. Well, he's here now. Of course <laughs> he's here now. He's going to clear up this mess that your stubs has made. That's why his van's outside. <laughs> <laughs> now call him at home. <sighs> Where's he? What? Somebody from Mr. Stubbs, dear. Hello, super faulty. So you see, we could possibly oh, navigate okay. this. Uh, but if you want it done straight away, wow. I suggest you try something. She saw like right that. through the. Oh, <clears throat> Bravo, Polly. Well done, girl. But listen, where are you speaking from? She's in here with me, Basil. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Polly. <laughs> I am going to make you regret this for the rest of your life. <laughs> 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 he's incompetent. He's lazy. He's nothing but a half witty thick Irish joke. Oh, hello, Ryan. How funny. We were just talking about you, and then we got on to another Irish building. <laughs> oh, my God. You think I'm joking, don't you? Oh, don't smile. Uh, <laughs> you can see another man. I like a woman with spirits. Oh, do you? Is that what you like? I do, I do. Oh, <laughs> That's enough. Oh! Come on, Meg, give us a smile. Don't you think it would be better in the garden? Yes, dear. Good idea. Oh, no, no, no. Basil put him back. On second thoughts, I think I'll leave him in charge. He's certainly better at it than you are. Don't drive over any mines or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Would you yeah. please take your tools back and continue? Oh. To well, she did! No, she didn't. She thinks she did, but we'll show her. She well, did! She did do it! <laughs> what do you mean, Basil? Because that could be back until the morning, right? Until the morning. And that's where he gets here at nine? Found. I knew you would. I knew you would. He lost the job. Oh. Morning, dear. Did <laughs> <laughs> you have a pleasant evening, dear? <laughs> I was going to ask you to do some work here. Yes. Uh, but I was away. Fix the wall. The wall fix. Did you use a concrete dental? Uh, no, a wooden one. But that's a supporting wall. What? <laughs> Basil? <laughs> Where did he go? Basil! <laughs> the garden <laughs> I'm going to see Mr. O'Brien. <laughs> 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 uh. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> we can't 
started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. That is so funny. We've had a lot of trouble getting it so we can play this DVD. And yeah. This is just the last in a long line of. <laughs> it's so worth it. In a Faulty Towers style. It is so worth it. Cascading of events. Oh my god. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah, we, uh. Had that this episode kind of set up last episode yeah. with the garden wall coming O'Reilly. Yeah, O'Reilly. You know, makes his appearance. Uh, Probably his last. <laughs> There's just so many great moments. It's just so good. Uh, uh, just... My wife enjoys herself. I worry. There's <laughs> something so funny about that, man. <laughs> she can uh, kill a man at ten paces uh, with a slip of the tongue. I don't, I don't know if I can watch a bunch of these in one day. I know. <laughs> I'm also questioning. We might need to change our schedule a tiny bit. He's such a liar. He's such a liar. He just wants to be right. Well, he he wants to be right, yeah. And he wants to make his own decisions. Yeah. And he's afraid he, to like stand up to his wife otherwise, so yeah. he just does it behind her back, and then he lies about it. Uh, he like has it, so many flaws. Uh, it's so beautiful. Uh, the flaws. There's not really, you know, sometimes you watch stuff from this time period and you have to kind of be like, oh, you know, the time period. Sure. There's not really a whole lot of that here. I mean, the way they treat Manuel sometimes, but... Yeah, yeah, some of the Manuel stuff. But it's being done in a comedic fashion. They haven't portrayed the Irish very well so far. Yeah, sure. I understand that. um, (laughs) But there's just like, it's undeniable just like the flow and timing and how everything hits you. It just hits you, hits you, hits you, hits you, hits you. When he came back and that stuff was changed, he <laughs> fell asleep. He put her in charge and she fell asleep. <laughs> he said, Oh, it's my fault then, is it? Yeah, I was silly enough to leave the hotel for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to think of like that the was... most shocking thing that I've like gone and come back and it's happened. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> the most shocking is I was I was still living with my parents. Uh huh. And um, I was driving in to to work or school or whatever. Sure. And I have to go past where my grandmother's house on the way. Okay. Right? And so I do that, and I see it, and half the house is missing. (laughs) There wasn't a storm. It wasn't a tornado or anything like that. What? Someone had driven into her house in the middle of the night. Oh, my God. And it was just gone. That is nuts. (laughs) It was all collapsed and everything. So that was like... (laughs) My most moment of like, I slept a few hours. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> she slept through it. Also, wow. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Thankfully, it was the, it was the living room. Like it wasn't the bedroom. Or oh anything. my god. She slept through it. Yeah. That was just a drunk driver. He just did he just drive away, or did he walk away, or what um, happened? I think by the time I like drove the tar, the car was like towed. Oh, gotcha. Away. Okay. Because like, All right. I can't imagine he would have been able. For some to reason, get it I had out. a feeling of like they hit it, left. <laughs> she's still sleeping. You're driving by. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> it's just, oh man, Basil's descent into chaos, and then trips over that garden gnome which they set up. You know, because at first I'm like, what happened? I'm like, what is this? <laughs> That was just so well done. Uh, and it's through the episode. Like, it ends yeah. with it as well. Like, yeah, he threatens to insert it inside of him, and it's exactly <laughs> what... And also, he's going to walk there. He didn't put it in the car. He's like, I need some time to cool off, so I, I only assault this man. I don't murder him, so I'm going to walk. He's the epitome of, like, like you shouldn't get upset about the things that are not in your control. You don't want to get upset about things that are in your control, and everything's... Just, She's like, don't panic. What else is there to do? <laughs> He's so tightly wound. He is. He's the opposite of Mr. O'Reilly. Oh. Who is just too laid back. Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever... We haven't reacted to something where I'm also laughing throughout the entire discussion. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how many more I have in me. This is a lot. Dude, when she was on the phone, it, bravo, Polly. <laughs> He was so proud that he tricked his wife. <laughs> she said, I'm going to make you regret this for the rest of your life. And he didn't. He just sadly accepted it. He's like, I know that that's true. I, I, 
<laughs> this has happened before, yeah. and you've never let me live those down. Oh my this god. This is just another one to add to the bonfire Ugh. of our marriage. It's so good. Also, I believe, I wanted to look it up. Okay. But I believe, um... I also love Manuel's like, he's not here, listen! Uh, John Cleese was married to Connie Booth. Okay. At one point, which gotcha. is Polly. Yeah. In this show. Okay, gotcha. I don't know if they were married at the time. Yeah. We got the menu up, and I'm looking at the titles. I just cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait. Yeah, there's, um... Once we get to it, I'll, I'll tell you which is my favorite joke. Okay. You'll probably be able to tell. All because right. I will just... When I watched it the first time, I just got destroyed. And yeah. I, I'm sure I will again. Is but that in the first five episodes? I don't remember where it is. Oh. So... You gotta go to Patreon to find that if you want to see that. <gasps> we'll, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Faulty Towers. Uh, Patreon.com slash BlindWave has the next four reactions right now. Will we survive? I really, I do not know. <laughs> Go check it out and uh, make sure you subscribe. Bye-bye.